happen and has to happen, you know what I'm saying, about us doing because of what we've done for the South and what we did for the mixtape game, like regardless what we regardless what anybody think and know, we the one change mixtapes. Two people single handedly, Michael Watson, Ron C. We changed the world of mixtapes, bro. Mixtapes was being given away. DJs was giving away mixtapes. They was giving them to the bootleggers, letting the bootleggers bootleg them so they can have more value. So when they do go DJ at a club, when they do go get a radio job, they can say, hey, I'm the king of the north side. That's why I'm worth this amount of money. Yeah. So we said, we're going to take a mixtape and we're going to get $8 for them. We're going to get $15 for a CD. Like we changed that game up. And of course, it has to be something about it. it has to be. Yeah. It's only yeah. right. Yeah. Even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If we don't do it, if we don't do it, gee, everybody know I ain't precious when I say that. If we don't do it, y'all know the white folks gonna come and do it, baby. Bitches, y'all better not come steal our shit without us, you motherfuckers. <laughs> no, the, hey, the, the paperwork gotta be right, man. The, you it's know, gotta be right. Just, and you know what, man? Um, I, I would love I would love to see that um story, you know, scripted out, acted out, you know, retold so that people could, you know, because even though we, you know, even though I experienced it as a fan, like um thankfully y'all did do that because because of y'all, I was able to eat. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why, because you know, the scene and, and that, that, that business structure here in Texas, especially, you guys were, uh, you know, creating like, they, you know, it's like, you know, Boss Hog Outlaws, like getting all these spinoffs and then you'd have a little camp, a little click from this city and they putting their stuff together and then you got people from Dallas, they, they trying to, you know, put theirs and then I'm even trying to emulate. So, so what happens is, is these mom and pop shops they had enough inventory now because okay we know ron c dropping something or or this person or that person or chingo might drop off or you know ray face just pulled up with some stuff from you know uh, boss Hog out of, uh color changing click next thing you know it, it becomes a, a economics infrastructure unfortunately the game got messed up the a lot of the mom and pops had to shut down a few survived you know they, they evolved to like sell clothes and turn into a smoke shop or something. But uh, but that's true. Like, I, I got in the game at the perfect time because the mom and pop underground mixtape game was, was happening. And like you said, DJs were giving this stuff away, especially New York, like all of New York, how they would go get with the bootleggers. And um, I think even like Atlanta, eventually DJ Drama, you know, he started doing his thing. He got in trouble, but, um, but it, it was interesting, man. It, it was like the golden era. Yeah, because we was doing that in the 90s, man. Watch, listen. I I got with Michael Watts in 1994. So Michael Watts was already known on the north side for making regular speed mixtapes before Slow Down. Michael Watts was making mixtapes, selling them out the flea market mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? He used to put uh, Al Green over hip-hop beats. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my uncles used to jam... Michael Watts. So I already had knew Michael Watts. So when he started working at the radio station, she there it was. She we, you know, he couldn't he had to convince me though, because I was like, man, shit, ain't nobody jamming this, man. I can't get away. I can't sell these tapes, man. But I used to sell them. I used to give them away and still give him his, you know, his, you know, give him his cut. But I was giving them away to my friends. Cause I was from Fifth Ward. He's from, you know, Homestead, you know, up he from uh, 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 Rosewood. So we, everybody wasn't just on slow down music yet at all. It was just a piece of the session. And then I was, you know, grew up in Acres Home too. So 